Hello, I'm Johora Singaporeensis, a Singapore freshwater crab, but you can call me Joe. I'm so small, I doubt you've seen me, but I bet you've seen my big blue buddy, the ocean. In this video, I want to talk about the ocean and why it's important. The ocean is made up of different marine ecosystems. The coasts, deep seas, and high seas. But even though humans have been mapping the world for thousands of years, more than 80% of the ocean is still unmapped, unobserved, and unexplored. Scientists know more about planets and deep space than the deep blue. What we do know is that the ocean is essential for all life on Earth, from freshwater crabs like me to humans like you. The Big Blue Ocean is everybody's Big Blue Buddy. Our buddy helps us breathe by producing more than half the world's oxygen. And even though it's salt water and not fresh water, it gives us all our drinking water through the water cycle. Our buddy helps fight climate change by absorbing and storing 50 times more carbon dioxide than our atmosphere. It regulates the climate and weather patterns by transporting heat from the equator to the poles. It can help us when we're sick by producing natural medicinal ingredients to help fight serious diseases. It provides jobs for millions of people. On our days off, our buddy even entertains us with activities like snorkeling, kayaking, and wakeboarding. What's more, our buddy feeds us 180 million kilograms of seafood, the stuff Singaporeans really love every single day. Many of our Blue Buddy's benefits rely on one of the most important living things in the ocean, plankton. I'm tiny, but next to plankton, I'm a giant. They're smaller than the diameter of a human hair, but plankton have a huge impact on the survival of all species on the planet. There are two main types of plankton, zooplankton and phytoplankton. As you've probably guessed, zooplankton means they're animal-like. Phytoplankton are plant-like and the primary producer in the marine food chain. They use the sun's energy to convert carbon dioxide into carbohydrates to feed ocean life. Every creature in the ocean either eats phytoplankton or eats the organisms which depend on it. Like all friendships, this very special relationship with our big blue buddy should work both ways. We need to be the ocean's buddy too. But so far, that isn't happening. Our buddy is getting a bad deal. Since 1950, plankton numbers in the ocean have plummeted by a massive 40%. Every day, 70 million kilograms of seafood is wasted or thrown away. One in three fish caught never make it to our plates. And eight million pieces of plastic are dumped into the ocean. If we're going to be a true buddy to the ocean, we need to take action now. The world's calling for 30% of the ocean to be protected and conserved by 2030. We can help by treating our buddy with respect. Consume only what we really need. Stop littering and refuse single-use plastics. We can make an effort to better understand our blue buddy and marine ecosystems by learning from experts, visiting museums, and joining guided walks or volunteering with conservation groups. We must look after our big blue buddy so that buddy can look after us and future generations too. It's a win-win relationship for the world!